Councillors, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Evening. Item one. Ap apologies for absence. Uh, yes, Mr. Mayor, we have apologies for absence from Councillor Cole, Councillor Edward, Edwards, and Councillor Sue Mumford. Thank you. Are there any members' interests? No? no. Item three, policy framework and budget settings for 2023-24. A report is attached. Council is asked to consider recommendations from the Cabinet held earlier. Council is reminded that as a result of the local authorities' Standing Orders England Amendment Regulations 2014, voting on the recommendations will be recorded. Who wants to lead off? It's Councillor Mumford. Councillor Mumford, do you wish to begin? Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Mayor. Just clarify, can I ask for a named vote on this or was that already mentioned? Thank you. Uh, leaders, members, ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to present the Council's budget for the forthcoming financial year. The report you have before you is clear, comprehensive and credible. I would like to extend my thanks from the whole Cabinet to Chris Mills, Lance Woxo, Wasco and the entire finance team for their considerable efforts and diligence in supporting the work. I'd also like to thank my predecessor, Michael, Councillor Michael Fuller, who's also helped bring this budget together. This is a historic time for the first budget for this new independent administration. The combined power of the two independent parties coming together has brought a new time for our borough. This budget presents a very different picture to the one which we inherited when we took office. The budget gap for the forthcoming year has now been closed. We stand ready to tackle similar challenges we face in the coming years. This is a balanced budget. We live in troubled financial times and have seen the financial picture worsen across local governments. Many authorities have to use their reserves to provide basic service. We have kept the use of our reserves to a minimum. We have taken the conscious decision to use our reserves to only invest in two things that we are certain will provide benefit and value to our residents. These are the development of the Castle Point Plan in a truly consultative and community engaged fashion and the continued provision of our Highways Rangers service, which is no longer going to be grant funded by Essex County Council. This budget is realistic. The significant rise in the cost of living and the inflationary pressures we have all experienced over the past year have resulted in the Council's cost rising substantially. This increase has to some extent been countered by an increased return on our investments. We know further cost increases are likely and we are not so complacent as to look to rely on increased investment returns to mitigate these. We therefore forecast a 1.2 million budget gap for the 24-25 financial year. We are already working to meet this challenge, taking di difficult decisions to reduce our net service budget of more than £15 million through changes to the way we deliver services and our up-and-coming council-wide transformation programme. Above all, this budget delivers. It delivers the service which are vital to our residents and the initiatives to which they've told us are important to them. It sees us invest heavily in work to move the council to a net zero carbon position. We have created a £200,000 fund to enable the council to start mo moving towards becoming carbon neutral and invested £9,000 in moving to a zero carbon energy tariff. Mindful of the financial difficulties we all face, we will be raising our council tax by 2.96% for the forthcoming year of 23-24. This is well below inflation. It is the lowest of all the associated taxes and it should be remembered that despite us being the collecting authority, only a very small proportion of council tax revenue remains with us. Using property band D, as an example, for the next financial year, the average cost of council tax will be £2,057. Of this, only 14%, or £282, goes to Castle Point Council. The rest goes to Essex County Council, Essex Police and the Essex Fire Service. 
In the past year, the Council has delivered the following and more. 5.4 million waste and recycling collections, 9,000 litter bins emptied, 583 fly tips removed, 6.5 million square metres of highway verges cut, 64,000 calls received to our contact centre, 650 planning applications determined, 2,500 building control inspections, 5,850 swimming lessons at our leisure centres, 10,000 housing benefit claims and amendments to existing claims were processed. This is just some of what the Council has achieved. I am pleased to be able to inform you that the Council Section 151 Officer has confirmed our reserves to be adequate and the estimates used in this budget are robust. This is a clear, comprehensive and credible report which presents a balanced and realistic budget that delivers for our residents. I commend this budget to the Council. Thank you. Thank you, Mr Mayor. I'd like a second uh, that recommendation. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Isaacs. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Members, officers, ladies and gentlemen, like my colleague or gentleman has just said, I'd like to thank Councillor uh, Mike Fuller, who must have had a very difficult job putting this budget together and welcome you, Councillor Mumford, to the position of resources and trust you will have uh, a steady ride, shall we say. There are certain aspects of this budget that are, are to be welcomed. We all want a balanced budget that creates opportunity for all, respects our residents and squeezes every last drop of value from the taxpayer's pound. So what is in this budget is a budget that not only has one of the highest council tax rises within its power, but this proposed budget then goes on to promise that this will happen again and again year on year. We've heard earlier tonight how we're going to raise uh, the rents on our properties, which is allowed to the maximum and some of these people are struggling. A lot of our residents are struggling with the cost of living rise and this, bu this budget is goes further and is impacting some of our residents with a cost that some of them can ill afford. This budget is one that raises taxes while taking away valued services. I don't know about anybody else in this chamber sitting around these circles, but my inbox and telephone rings regularly. Where are my pink sacks? Where are my black bags? And we're talking about ACP a household and we're cutting it. That's, you know, to me, my inbox, as I say, is full come the end of the financial year. Why haven't they turned up? We had the same problem year on year with waste collections, oh, we only get a waste collection every other week. We know, as councillors, we do get it every week because we get pink, we get black, and we get our green recycling waste. Is this a balanced budget? And I bow to the officers to say that it is, but we've had to balance it by increasing our taxes, and using money from our reserves. Many of my residents in Hadley are complaining about the cost of living rise, increasing money that they've got to fork out for, um, and we're not helping. I personally don't think we're helping by increasing or taking things away from them. People on the opposition might say, well, he's complaining. He's sat here for 25 years, he's listened to the budget, and he never said anything. But that's because we had balanced budgets and we provided um, the necessary reserves, the necessary services that our residents wanted. 
And I may be complaining. I may be drawing your attention to some things. But as I say, I've had 20 odd years experience listening to the opposition complain about our budgets. So it's twofold and it would be wrong of me and remiss of me not to say anything on behalf of the residents. Two years ago, this, set, this council set out to review the waste collection strategy. It was a cross-party committee that met, yet last year it, w it was whittled down to a few options. <coughs> Every single option was better for the environment and saved at least half a million pounds. But we didn't proceed with it, whether it was because it was a previous administration, whether it's because the Conservatives suggested it and pushed it through, but there was a win-win there, a half a million pound. And with that half a million pound, would we be in the situation we are at the moment by putting up our council tax, taking away our black bags? Councillor, may I interrupt? You know the five minute rule. Okay. I don't think I had five minutes yet, Mr Mayor. I'm coming to the end now anyway. Thank you very much. We all know from social media and screaming immediately after you took control that this would be a tough budget. Still, we didn't do anything to rectify it. It was there, within reach, half a million in savings and helping to stop tonnes of waste going into landfill it would be in our medium term forecast now if we'd have acted, but we didn't do anything. The high tax, low service budget is such an avoidable shame. Just think of the things you could have done and should be doing for the residents of Castle Point. Clearly, I cannot vote for this high tax, low service budget, and I encourage every member here tonight to think independently and vote with their conscience. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Thank you. Councillor. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'd just like to pick up on a couple of points that uh, the leader of the Conservative group mentioned there. And that the, the, the last one, or the latter one's about the, the weights collections with respect to the project and the options that we were given. I was on that committee, as were the majority of the Conservatives, because they held the majority of the time. And it was knocked back largely because it was felt that um, the only options were wheelie bins. So, so it wasn't voted down by the independents. That, that project is still ongoing and we're still looking at that. And yes, you are right, it is over half a million pounds saving, depending on which one we, we take. But that's, that project is still ongoing, firstly. The Black Sacks loss is the only negative, really, out of, out of all of this that you can, you can talk about, and that is 80 pence, I think it was, per family. So, I mean, that, that's a bit of a, a waste of time. We were, we were told that we were going to be the, uh, the coalition of chaos, and yet here we are delivering a budget that's, that's you know, balanced, unlike Thurrock and Basildon at the moment, who are really struggling. We've delivered, we've helped from the LGA, a transformation process that's going to look at the restructuring of the council, massive cost savings. Okay? We have worked with taxi drivers to get them pay increases, and we're still working with, with those, council, council, uh, the, those taxi drivers now in terms of policy changes, collaboration. Paddocks and the Gunny, I, I heard somebody um, write that, uh, that uh, basically we'd wasted £3.6 million, pounds. utter nonsense, um, because that was government funding and grants in any case. Um, the local plan, you know, collaboration with residents again, funding for voluntary services not cut, great effort they give. For every pound that I think we spent to them, we get about £4 back, you know. Is this a coalition of chaos? I would select, suggest to you guys that this is a, a coalition of collaboration. And, and I think it's just a shame that more of the Conservatives, and I know a few of you do collaborate, don't sort of step on board with us. You know, I think, I think this is a, a budget that's balanced. You know, we've done a lot of great work. And at the end of the day, a budget is exactly that. It's a, it's a, a plan for the future. It's just purely a budget, and we've done a very good job of it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Councillor Sage. <laughs> Councillor Thornton. Sorry, Councillor Skip. Yeah, thank you, Mr Mayor. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm pleased to hear the Council's savage at that project that my colleague, uh, um, 
uh, Council of Isaac referred to is still ongoing, but I mean, there's no mention of it in, the, in this budget at all. And that was a saving of, of half a million pound that could have been applied now, okay? not in future years. Uh, and I hope it does continue because I mean, that, that's not just a one off saving, that's, that will be an ongoing saving year on, year on, and year on. So, we, you know, um, I doubt that it is ongoing still because it's not in the budget at all for this year, but which it, which it could have been had you continued with that, with that part of the, the, the process. Um, but that's not the only thing. I mean, uh, uh, I mean it's only, only a couple of pounds a year, but it's a, uh, and the um, bins have increased again this year, you know, by, by two pounds subscription. So that's an, an, another stealth tax, if you like, that you know, the people may not necessarily be aware of and may slip under, under the screen. And there's other things as well you know, in this budget that, um, that are, you know, creating pressures on, on our, um, our residents who are struggling at the moment, you know, and I think we need to take that into account. I'm disappointed at the, the, the amount of the increase, 2.96%, higher than uh, this council has ever, ever done for many, many years now, and uh, I think we need to um, uh, you know, be more mindful of, of our residents and how much they're struggling at the moment with the cost of living, etc. So, because of that, I don't think I can support this budget at this time. Councillor Fulton. Thank you. Uh, yes, in reference to the waste strategy meetings, I was on that committee as well, and we had a couple of meetings, and it, it wasn't dismissed because of the wheelie bins. It was due to come back for further discussion. And throughout this new administration, there hasn't even been a meeting to, to discuss it further. So there is potential savings of 500 that could be made. We haven't made the decision on which one to take because we haven't had the meeting scheduled. Thank you. Councillor Mountford. Thank you. I, I could spend a long time going over five minutes, well over five minutes, trying to defend this budget and the great work the council officers have done and the, the new administration. Um, I, I could go on about the current Conservative government in causing high inflation that's affected our residents and the, the leader of the opposition talking about things going on for years and years. I, the budget is what we need. It's difficult times and I think we need to just put it to the vote and move forward or we can just keep talking about waste all night. Thank you. Councillor <laughs> Ainsley. Just a quick rebuttal on um, Councillor Isaac's comment about the Conservatives never raised the taxes so high. Well, nobody could have possibly foreseen, not even yourselves, what Liz Truss was going to do to the country. The, this is the consequence of that catastrophic decision that her and Kwasi Kwarteng made. We find ourselves, everybody finds themselves in a desperate situation now and it calls for desperate measures and we're doing the best that we can to deliver on a balanced budget. Thank you. Anybody else? Councillor Fuller. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, just two observations really um, concerning this year's budget in March when, uh, last March when the budget was approved uh, it was set with an inflation rate, I think, of something a little over 2%. Uh, as you know, during the course of this year, uh, we've achieved inflation rates of, I think, 9 possibly 10%. So what is that going to do to a so-called balanced budget? Well, it's going to wreck it. But it wasn't wrecked. The work that was done by our financial officers have brought this about so that this year we have not only a balanced budget, but we've actually managed to achieve some excesses which we can put into things like these funds. There is a, there is a, a genuine feeling that this year has been successful. When we talk about the council tax rise, I understand fully the pressures that are on people. We understand that. Cost of living, all of these, all of these pressures uh, cause, cause difficulties. But at the end of the day, it is the purpose and the job, really, of the local government to deliver services effectively for the benefit of all the residents. And I would just simply ask a question. If you were not to approve, if you decided that you weren't going to approve this uh, modest increase in council tax that's presented in this budget, what services would you cut? Thank you. 
Councillor Riley. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor, members, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I would like to draw your attention to our historic leaders board, which is on the wall behind me, which you will see and note that the leaders proves that from 2003 through to 2022, this council was very safe in the hands of the council. And I include all the council in that, because without a doubt, um, this leadership has to come from the top. And I'm very concerned and worried that we're moving forward in the first year of a new administration of a budget, frankly, that's just been drawn without any real consideration for our residents. I would most certainly be voting against him, Mr Mayor. Thank you. Councillor Mumford. Uh, thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, it, um, it states on page 48 of the Treasurer Management Strategy at uh, point four, it states that it is a statutory requirement under the Local Government Finance Act 1992 for the Council to produce a balanced budget. This means that the Council is required to ensure the affordability of existing and new projects, both revenue and capital, within the projected income of the Council for the foreseeable future. And that is absolutely correct and right. This, this budget, the only way it balances, is by robbing the reserves, carefully built up over the years by previous Conservative administrations and by penalising the less fortunate within our society by increasing rents by 7%. And I've heard it said that's a minor, a little, a little amount of money. Well, it isn't for people who can't afford, perhaps to uh, go into food banks, etc., etc. This is a lot of money for them. It also predicts the same gloomy prospect, not only for this year, but for years going forward, when we will be increasing um, the, the rates of, of council tax and continuing to borrow in a vain attempt to narrow the budget gap. Um, and of course, Mr Mayor, one of the reasons I think we realise why, why this is happening, and I'm, I'm thankful that one of the members have brought this up, is the obvious ele elephant in the room that the members opposite perhaps don't want to mention, even, even though it has been mentioned, is a £1.5 million pound <coughs> cost of producing the Newcastle Point plan and together with the inevitable developers' appeals that we'll have to meet. This is a bit of crisis management. There was not a lot of talk about the transformation, which um, I'm sure is going to be quite a dramatic in, in, uh, impact on this local authority, and also about how we take a more commercial aspect to how we actually manage our affairs here in a more commercial ability, creating income. It's, it's all about drawing down on our reserves and there's going to come a time when this authority is going to be in dire straits and that is one of the reasons, Mr Mayor, that I will not be able to support this tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Councillor Palmer. Thank you, Mr Mayor. It must be worth pointing out that a vast majority of this increase will be going to Essex County Council that's Conservative run and have put their precepts up by 3.5%. Thank you. Anybody else? Thanks. Councillor Blackwell. <coughs> Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, <coughs> well, what can I say? After listening to all the rhetoric coming from over there, I, and I've been here longer than most. For the last 20 odd years, I've sat here in opposition watching the Tories put the council tax up every single year. And now they're saying we shouldn't put the council tax up. <coughs> Why are we in this problem? Why have we got to put up the council tax? You put us in that position. 20 years of mismanagement put us in that position. A 1.3 million shortfall, you put us in that position, not us. Next year, you put us in that position, not us. And when you talk about these things and you say, oh, I can't vote for that, you're playing politics with the local government services, that's what you're doing. And could I say, and then when you start complaining that we took money out of reserves for a new local plan, ha, huh, if we hadn't have done that, we would have had 5,000 houses on our green bill, courtesy of the Conservatives, thank you very much. That's why 
we're taking the money out. That's why we're listening to our residents. Our residents do not want houses on Greenbelt, which you would have swamped the whole of Castle Point's greenfields in housing. And then you have the cheek to say, we're using the money. You ask your residents, they'd rather spend that money on a new plan on putting houses on brownfield rather than greenfield. That's where you've led us down that path. And how much money have you wasted on that plan? Millions. Yep. Trying to put houses on green. And, and I've got to go to the, the chairman of the Canby Island Conservatives, who's put out a leaflet round his walls, which I could not believe. Here he is saying the independents are spending too much money on Canvey. The chairman of Canvey Conservatives <laughs> complaining we're spending too much money on Canvey. The voters are going to love this on Canvey when they see it. The reason why we're spending that money, it's not new money, it's old money. Money you've sat on, money you've robbed Canvey on of the last five years. Money you should have spent on Canvey over the last five years. But you didn't, you sat on it because you don't like spending money on Canvey, but we, as a coalition, will. This money is destined to do things which should have been done years ago. So, you know what? <laughs> it's a bit of a nerf when they come up and say they can't vote for this budget, because this is a balanced budget. The officers have worked extremely hard, the councillors have worked extremely hard, and we've taken it on the net. It's not a coalition of chaos. It's a coalition of sensibility, and we've done that. And I tell you what, you'll do a disservice to all your residents voting against this budget. So, members, I say vote the budget in and let's get on with the work. Yep. Thank you. Councillors, please. Right. Can we have a vote? hands, please? Sorry, I don't, I don't, I don't do you want to? It's an in-vote between Tallis Council and Mount Park, which is just a Council Mount. There's already spanned up. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Then you go to that. As the mayor mentioned in introducing the item, um, voting on the budget is a named vote. If members would indicate whether they are for or against the recommendations listed one to eighteen in the papers before you, starting with. Councillor Aycott. Four. Councillor Ainsley. Four. Councillor Anderson. Four. Councillor Barton Brown. Four. Councillor Blackwell. Four. Councillor Bissett. Okay. Councillor Bowker. Four. Councillor Campagna. Four. Councillor Cutler. Against. Councillor Dixon. Against. Councillor Mrs. Egan. Against. Councillor Owen Egan. Against. Councillor Fuller. Four. Councillor Tom Gibson. Four. Councillor Warren Gibson. Four. Councillor Greg. Four. Councillor Hart. Against. Councillor Harvey. Four. Councillor Isaacs. Against. Councillor McCarthy Calvert. Four. Councillor McLean. Against. Councillor May. Four. Councillor Mountford. Four. Councillor Munford. Against. Councillor Palmer. Four. Councillor John Payne. Four. Councillor Janice Payne. Four. Councillor Riley. Against. Councillor Sage. Four. Councillor Savage. Four. Councillor Skip. Against. Councillor Taylor. Four. Councillor Thomas. Four. Councillor Andrew Thornton. Against. Councillor Jackie Thornton. Against. Councillor Tucker. Four. Councillor Walter. Councillor Withers. Mr Mayor, the voting was 24 for, 14 against. There were no abstentions. The recommendations carried. Thank you. Thank you, officer. Councillors, the budget is now agreed. I will now close this meeting. I will see you all Friday night.